Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Bradley from Orthopedics Rhode Island, and it's a pleasure to talk to you today about fiber tape cerclage for lower extremity. Many of you have seen the fiber tape cerclage and all its applications originally designed for diaphyseal uh, fractures of the humerus. We've now applied it to so many other things. And in the lower extremity, really uh, the broadness of the uh, footprint and the compression of it really has made it unbelievably useful for so many different applications. So I'd like to tell you how I've used it by telling you about some of the cases that I've done. So this was a 62 year old female who had a total knee replacement many years ago. It went on to unfortunate infection and she had a spacer placed and then came back with a revision prosthesis. Unfortunately, that one uh, underwent a distal femur fracture less than two weeks out. So now we had a really uh, poor bone quality in the distal femur. Uh, we had to remove uh, that prosthesis. And we really used the fiber tape cerclage around the distal femur to insert a femoral sleeve. Once we had the femoral sleeve, we could put a long cemented total knee uh, in the distal femur. And it was amazing when we slid this distal femur prosthesis, it went right over the top of the um, fiber tape, which is obviously not even possible with a metal cable. So there's the lateral picture, which shows a, a pretty um, intact uh, revision prosthesis with the sleeve. And this patient has gone on to done, do quite well. Next patient was another unfortunate situation, 66 year old female who four years out from her total knee replacement, her husband was removing her boot and she hyperflexed. And uh, this was a difficult injury. And this is a series of CT images, but basically uh, you can see the fibular fracture there. And unfortunately at the same level, she had a tib uh, fracture right below the tibial stem. That's a very difficult injury uh, where there's a very unstable. So we had to remove obviously the tibial stem, creating kind of the shell of proximal tibia bone. We use the fiber tape cerclage around that proximal tibia bone to ensure uh, that we had a base and then inserted a, um, a tibial cone and then a revision prosthesis. And basically she had uh, a, a great outcome with uh, a range of motion uh, from about zero to 100 degrees, uh, which was quite impressive. Um, there's this a little bit of an argument between press fit and cemented stems out there, plenty of literature to support both, but I, I was leaning towards a lot of press fit stems. But I was always concerned about uh, you know, the risks of press fit, which are mainly uh, subsidence and, and periprosthetic fracture. Plenty of data out there, including a clinical practice guideline from our academy. So how do we reduce the complications? If people don't want to use cement and there's issues with cement, how do you reduce it? Well, if you prophylactically cerclage a proximal femur, and there's uh, data to support that, obviously, uh, then you can really reinforce that proximal femur. And so my goal was to say, can I continue to use a press fit stem uh, can I, uh, you know, use it in the direct anterior approach, which uh, uh, there are advantages to, and can we equalize or lessen the risks associated with some of the complications in total hip replacement? And this was the biomechanical study, which, which helped us understand that if we did cerclage that proximal femur, we could have less complications. So here's the idea where we can prophylactically cerclage around uh, the lesser trochanter, uh, either above or below or both. And on the left, we cerclaged with a fiber tape cerclage and on the right, traditional cables. And obviously there are uh, other issues with, uh, with cables, knowing that uh, with time uh, they can break and soft tissue irritation and the things we talked about uh, at the beginning. So I've developed a, a guideline or practice in, in my uh, busy uh, total joint practice I cerclage all press fit uh, stem uh, for hip fractures, men and women. Uh, the women over 60 to 65, I prophylactically cerclage them, especially for direct anterior and a shorter stem. Uh, men over 75, especially for the direct anterior and the shorter stem. So I've used that in my practice. 
This last case will kind of demonstrate where that um, has taken me. This is an 80-year-old primary total hip replacement, direct anterior. I fiber tape circlaged around it uh, prophylactically because he met the criteria as we had outlined. He unfortunately missed the last step as he was going down the stairs two weeks out um, and had this periprosthetic fracture. So this is the post-op picture at three months. And obviously you can see these typically are unstable and would tilt into varus, but the fiber tape cerclage held that uh, and stable fracture. It's gone on to heal. He's got a minor si subsidence, but we totally avoided a, a second operation uh, and a revision surgery for this 80 year old gentleman. And he walks really uh, without any difficulty whatsoever. Thank you for listening.